Welcome everyone, Greg Lochner here for Auto Body Training Solutions. We're a small company that specializes in training auto body repair technicians where we come to your shop, train in-house, and we can teach the finer points of sheet metal repair, framework that covers unibody, full frame. Uh, myself, I have 43 years experience in the industry. I went to trade school back in the 70s and I was fortunate enough to have an instructor that had worked in shops back in the 50s and 60s. So I learned a lot of the old techniques and a lot of people today say those techniques don't apply on modern cars, but they do. Not all of them, but a lot of them they do. And uh, we've been getting requests to do some, put some of our training stuff on video. So we're gonna give, our, give it a try. Okay, work hardening on sheet metal. Uh, probably everybody in the trade has heard the term work hardened, but uh, I don't think everybody fully understands what's involved with it. So real quick, if this is a, say a cross section of a piece of sheet metal and the structure inside is all going to be pretty uniform. What happens, you take that piece of metal that's been in a collision, and now we have a bend in it. So what structure was nice and even before, now it's going to be distorted. And what happens, this area is going to be compressed. That's under pressure. This area up on the top here, that is actually getting stretched. So what happens when you go and try and straighten this piece of sheet metal, you try and flatten it out and you're going to end up right where that bend was, a little hump. That area right there is work hardened from being bent. Another way to show that, just take a regular piece of sheet metal here and we'll bend it a little bit past the 90. Now we try and straighten it out and you can see how it doesn't want to bend right there. It bends on each side of it. That metal right there has been work hardened. And at this point, after a collision, the only thing you can do to this metal is make it worse. You're going to increase the work hardness. You can't get rid of it no matter what you do. And in the old days, you could take a torch, you could heat this up, you could relieve the stress, you could flatten it out, but not on today's sheet metal. And unless you fully understand where all these stress points are in a damaged panel, you're gonna have a hard time getting it straight again. So that's what uh, we're gonna show you a little bit about here. Okay, I've got a couple fenders here. Both, have, both of them have some damage. This fender here, besides uh, fairly good sized dent here. There's some small dents in here. Not too bad, but this area here has work hardness put into it just from getting stretched. Both of them do. This one here has a more of a pronounced crease in there. So this is going to be work hardened in this area here. Now a lot of guys I just put a dolly on the back side, a hammer, start hammering that and you're compressing that. Pretty soon you're going to flatten that out. There's actually going to be like a little bit more metal there from doing that so it's going to either come out too high it's going to give you a problem so then you're going to try and tap it back in it's going to stay in too far which uh, that also causes more problems the other fender we've got here now this had an impact right in this area that's the primary damage something hit this fender here and when it distorted it, it put a buckle up into here. We'll call it either a crown or an eyebrow. This area is going to be work hardened from being stretched. But this area here is actually going to be a little bit tougher to get out. Everybody's run across this. You get back there with your hammer, you bump, bump this out, you'll tap this down, you'll get it sanded, ground, whatever you're going to do. You put your coat of filler on there, you sand on it and this spot is still high. You get your hammer out, you start hitting on it again, you put another coat of filler, it's still high. So what we intend to show you 
is how to work all this out, relieve the stress without causing any more damage than is necessary and without making the work hardening worse and get this done in one step, probably one coat of filler. You're not gonna have this high spot that's gonna keep giving you problems. And uh, the next video, what I'm gonna show you is choosing the proper tools for this. There's different types of uh, hammers and dollies. Most people will say find one that fits the curve of the metal. That's true in probably 90% of the cases, but there's other things to look at when you're uh, choosing your hammers and dollies. So in the next video, we're gonna cover tool selection before we actually get into showing how to work these dents out. Thanks for watching.